This is an ode to the body, to my body, and how it heals despite everything. I wanted to talk about how the body factors into loving oneself and battling self-hatred because for me, the body has been my elixir, my pathway back to myself. I'm an incest survivor. I survived extreme sexual violence as a child, and I've been actively healing this trauma for, gosh, at least 25 years. It's been a long, long, intricate process, and I don't even know how it is that I'm a functioning or intact person at all. I'm continually amazed as I remember what happened to me that I can still love, that I still know how to love. It's inconceivable, really. And I've worked so hard for every piece of okayness that I have now. The great love of my life in this lifetime is dance. Since I was a girl, this has been my first language, the language that brought me into who I really was and helped me find expression when parts of me were dying or felt like they were. Dance gave me safe ways to touch, to be touched. It allowed me to go into my body and find safe places, safe sensations. I've been a choreographer and performer, so it's also how I develop my voice and my vision. It's as if dance has been the container for me to fall apart in, like a home or a nest. It has held me closely and dearly. It has led me straight into the memory in my body and then straight out of it into now, all the way in and all the way out. I really believe that the body has to come along on the healing process. It can't be left behind. You can't heal in your head with your mind. You have to heal all the way through your cells on a cellular level. And love, love is in the body. Love can always be found in the body. You just have to go searching for it. You have to have the courage to feel, to move, to express, and it's hard. There were so many, many days when I showed up to dance and all I could feel was despair or paralysis or brokenness. And that would be it for that day. But then the next day, I'd show up for my body again and something magical would happen. I mean, even something funny. Dance led me to my humor. I make myself laugh, that's the thing. I crack myself up and that leads me towards the light. I guess I wanted to share something about how unbreakable people can be even when life is impossible. I really shouldn't be able to do much of anything after what my body lived through. I want to be an example of how turning inward is a real and valuable life path. Turning inward and looking inward is not selfish. It's not self-indulgent. It's quite the opposite. You can't help out if you don't know who you are. You can't give if you are starving inside. I have to fill myself up in order to be an instrument for love. That's the bottom line. 
I'm just so grateful that I know how to fill myself up. That's grace. That's the miracle. Hey, thank you so much for watching episode 13. We did this one a little differently um, because I wanted to tell my story and this is how I wanted to tell it. And it was a very meaningful thing to do. I will return with the regular formatted advice from a loving bitch soon and I hope you will subscribe. I hope you will subscribe and I hope you will fund this show. I have raised over $5,000 to make this many episodes and I still need to raise $3,000 more to make the last seven. So please, please donate. Donate. I want to thank Samford Lewis for his incredible filming of episode 13. He is an inspired filmmaker who just finished an evening length work called An Intimate Dance. I hope you will check out his work. I am one of the three main characters in his film and it's really special. Thank you Anna Maynard who danced in this episode. She's a wonderful mover and person and she's a great photographer so please check out her link in the credits as well. Thank you Tom Knight, my editor who I adore and feel very connected to. You are brilliant and intuitive. Thank you. Thank you Roxy LeBlanc for your incredible song Fear Not. It just worked so well for me. Mwah. Check out her website. I don't know which side, too. And see you next time for advice from a loving bitch.